Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in today. This video is going to cover three update methods for manually updating firmware on MCA series systems. Automatic updates can be enabled and is enabled by default on these products. So usually the product will take it upon itself to update at the specified time that you've given it. But if you need to manually update firmware, these are the three options available to you. So we're going to jump right in. The first two options are available within web config. So we'll want to log into the MCA product we're working with. In this case, I've got an MCA 66 we're logged into. On the status page, we'll want to navigate to the admin tab and then firmware update. And we have two update methods available to us here. The first is web update. The second is file update. We're going to cover web update first. So option number one for manual update is web update. If your MC is not fully up to date, you'll see what I'm looking at here. We can click the web update button here and directly to the right of this, it will tell us that we can update to version 4.02.05, which at the time of this recording is the current version. So all we need to do for this is simply click web update click OK on the confirmation pop-up and then we just wait. Our MC is now in the process of updating and as you can see we have a rapid flashing red LED light right up at the power button. This indicates that the update is currently in progress. So now we just wait a little bit. This total runtime is anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes depending on internet speeds and a few other factors. Make sure you do not turn the MCA off. And eventually when this is complete, the MCA will reboot itself. So if you have a few other things you can work on during your installation, just periodically check in. After about 10 minutes, you should be able to return and see the power LED has returned to a solid red state. This would be after the MCA goes through its normal boot process. So that's option number one, performing a web update. We're going to go into option number two for file update now. Our second update option, once again, is also in web config. So we're going to go right back to admin, firmware update. And as you can see, our software is now up to date following that update we just did. The second option is file update. For to perform a file update, we must first have the necessary file to accomplish this. In order to obtain that file, You'll want to go to the Rust Sound Dealer portal and make sure that you're logged into an RCI certified account because when you go to your documents category here, you will be looking for the category titled Rust Sound Certified Installer. This is hidden if you are not logged into an RCI account, so just make sure you are logged into the proper account. When you go to this category, you will have access to firmware updates for all of our MCA series. So go ahead and download the appropriate one. Once you've downloaded that firmware, then you can proceed by clicking on File Update. And a Windows Explorer tab will pull up. We can choose the appropriate update here. And then we can click Open. We'll once again get a confirmation ask us if we want to perform this update, and we will say yes. Now we'll be greeted with a loading bar as the update uploads to the system and then it will quick, do a quick verification process to make sure this file is compatible with the MCA. Once this is done, the MCA will just simply go into the update process like it did earlier and the power LED will start to rapidly flash just like we saw earlier. This is really no different than doing a web update, the only difference being instead of letting the MCA fetch the update for us, we have manually served this update up to the MCA and then the MCA updates. So that's option number two, file update. We'll let that finish and then we'll come back and we'll show you the final option for updating firmware, which is via USB thumb drive. The final update option is with USB thumb drive. When selecting a USB thumb drive to use for this process, make sure it does not exceed 32 gig capacity and you've formatted the thumb drive for FAT32. You cannot have any other files except the disk image file for the update. So when you have that prepared, just drag and drop on the thumb drive and go to the back of the MCA. On the rear of the MCA, find that firmware update port right on the top right of the rear and insert your prepared thumb drive right in the back. 
The MCA will accept that file and start the update process and you'll see a familiar red blinking power LED. Just like the other update methods, that'll take about five to 10 minutes total runtime. So you can likely find a few other things to do and come back and check on the MCA and you should be ready to rock and roll after that. Doing the USB update method and the file update method are great troubleshooting options. So keep those in your back pocket if you need. Aside from that, you'll likely find that you'll be doing automatic updates or web updates most of the time, though. I hope you've learned something from this video. Thank you for joining us today, and everyone take care.